Hey YouTube, good morning. Uh, after yesterday's really, really good tests and uh, watching a lot of videos last night on uh, FSC Beta 10.69.2.2 uh, and at the very end of my Memorial Park Drive, I had one unprotected forward facing left that didn't do so good. I heard some um, feedback from some others with forward facing lefts being an issue also. So I wanted to knock out a, a forward facing left uh, exclusive video today and to just see how this goes. Um, I've done this before, so if you've watched all of my videos, this forward facing um, intersection I've used before, and it's challenging. It's um, a little bit busy right now, so the traffic is what I would call medium to heavy. Um, and let's see what we get today. Round one. Um, forward facing, looks like we have a lot of traffic coming. Let's see where we pose here in this median here. We got lots of oncoming. Let's see where it stops. Okay, the wheel's turning. Don't like the wheel turning as it goes here. Uh, it's got great visibility. It should uh, not have any problems making this decision here, but let's see how it goes. We got, uh, okay, there is a gap here. If it goes for this little gap, it's gonna need to commit. It's starting to pre-roll, commit. Okay, that commit worked. That wasn't the best gap to use though. Uh, there was a bigger one right after it, but it didn't hesitate. Sometimes when it goes and it starts to second guess itself, it gets a little bit scary. Uh, that kept a nice smooth um, jerk acceleration into that maneuver. So that one worked pretty good. Let's get a few more. Okay, looks like round two is gonna be an easy one here. Uh, we do have a car coming, but it's pretty far in the distance. It should just smoothly roll this one without any issues. And that was fine. Let's try some more. All right, this one uh, looks a little bit more complex. Let's see, uh, turn signal into the turn lane. It's got a nice projected path. Steering wheel is definitely turned. It's got a safe uh, distance here I'm comfortable with. The steering wheel's definitely turned a little bit, which a lot of people don't like. I, I, I agree with the premise. Now here's a small gap with a good acceleration. This will work. It's got to commit. Give me all the commit. Okay. I don't know what that was. Um, I disengaged though, uh, primarily because it did a right turn into the traffic lane there. So that was bad. Let's try another one. Hey YouTube, I just wanted to do a little bit of a voiceover in post-production over this one unprotected uh, forward-facing left turn that did not work out so well. Uh, interesting, if you notice, right when the car commits, you see the blue vector go blue. It goes across. Very closely look at the steering wheel display I have. The steering wheel turns to the right and, uh, and I don't, as soon as it turned to the right into that oncoming traffic is when I disengaged and then took over. I don't know why it turned right right there. It uh, is a little bit of a mystery. Uh, after I disengaged, of course, you could see the projected path going to the right, but that is not what it was showing when the steering wheel was turning to the right into the oncoming traffic. So, uh, you know, it just deserves a little extra thought. I'm gonna highlight this. Uh, I slowed this down to 25% so you could kind of see it and, and take a look for yourselves and very carefully look at the steering wheel display I have and the steering wheel angle um, that is uh, also in the overlay. In any case, it's worth additional thought. Um, we'll take a look at it a little bit closer and I'll send this into Tesla for uh, evaluation also. All right, let's see what we got this time. That last one's a little concerning to me. Okay, we got a pretty big gap after these two cars. This should be a roller. Roll it. Do have a little bit of a car, follow me car. It's kind of being forced to slow down here. I am out of the traffic, so I'm okay with that. Um, okay, good. Okay, the car's getting some easy ones today. Looks like we got another maybe a slight pause and then a continual roll and a continual roll and straight at that. So that was a gentle pause without it having to find a traffic gap. So that one was okay too. All right, a little bit different here. It's definitely gonna need to wait on this one. 
there's no tiny gaps here okay steering wheel is definitely turned a very small gap that i'm not going to like here do not go for oh is it going to go give me the commit okay it fit pedestrian it needs to yield for here got out of the road okay yielding around the pedestrians i'm okay with that uh this is really good that good so it that was one of those uh, gaps. I wasn't sure how it was going to develop, but as long as it's using the right acceleration, I'm going to let it go unless it starts to deviate from that. Okay, we got to follow me a lead car this time, and the lead car is probably going to take the, the gap that we would have taken had the lead car not been here. So this is good. Um, so let's see what this lead car does. There's his gap. Now... I've got a gap right behind him, and it's just going to follow him. Now, if he stops, I'm kind of in trouble. And he did stop, but I have room, and I pulled out of the way. So that was a good scenario. Uh, the car continued on with an appropriate gap. There is a little bit of risk taking an intersection turn behind a lead car in case that car stops in a spot that is dangerous. But uh, that scenario worked out okay. All right, let's see how this one looks. Kind of sporadic might be a small gap let's see it needs to wait on this car yeah it needs to wait on that and there's a nice gap after the x so there's a nice gap and it went smoothly perfectly okay i think this is going to probably be my last one let's see how this one does and what we get presented got a tiny gap that it probably should wait on should wait after that truck hey and it did wait on after that truck and now there's a nice gap and it just gives me a normal commit so that was a good choice too so i think i'm okay with where we are uh on this forward facing we had one really interesting one that we need to look at but i think that in general it's making good decisions if there is a little bit of a a bug um I, it might be based on visibility it might be based on a lot of other factors so let's just uh let's keep an eye on it let me know what you think have a great day.